Hello. Today I'd like to talk about guilt and how defining the term better uh, can lead to more productive uh, discussions on the topic. I believe this is very relevant due to recent events related to killing of George Floyd. And uh, I believe we can use a fairly old concept that was introduced after World War II uh, when Germany was facing the question of guilt or responsibility for the events of World War II. Right after the war, the German philosopher Karl Jaspers uh, delivered a series of lectures on the topic and uh, he introduced uh, four specific concepts of guilt uh, that uh, are described in his book The Question of Guilt, uh, published in 1946. I'll cover each of the four concepts briefly and give uh, some examples uh, from, uh, from uh, current day. So the first concept of guilt is a criminal guilt. Criminal guilt is only attributable to individuals. And uh, uh, in case of killing of George Floyd, these would be the people who were directly responsible uh, for uh, the event. So uh, these are always individuals who uh, committed a crime or caused the injustice. The second concept of guilt is uh, political guilt. Political guilt in this case is collective and does relate uh, to uh, the passivity uh, of uh, uh, many Germans during the World War II who did not oppose the government. Karl Jaspers believed that uh, in the modern day, we can't really stay apolitical. We can't pretend that uh, the public events are not uh, our concern. So uh, we are morally obliged to protest. And uh, uh, we need to put a pressure uh, on governments or institutions uh, that are committing unjust acts. So that would be the political guilt in case we don't object, in case we don't protest. The third concept is moral guilt. Moral guilt uh, relates to uh, the situation in which we cannot actively object. For example, if we live under an oppression, uh, oppressive regime, as the Germans did during World War II, we still can be morally guilty if we execute an unjust order given by the authority. Karl Jaspers said there is no such thing uh, as uh, order is an order. Uh, we are not absolved of a guilt if we just follow orders. In this case, uh, we can talk about uh, the activities of uh, Greta Thunberg, uh, who is both politically active uh, when it comes to the topic of global warming. Uh, she's, uh, she believes that uh, just partaking uh, on uh, uh, the common economic activities and not taking any activities related to uh, mitigating the effects of global warming, she would be morally guilty. That's why she's choosing to be politically active. So that would be the three concepts, the criminal, the political and the moral. Karl Jaspers introduced also uh, the fourth concept. The fourth concept is called metaphysical guilt and it's the most subtle of the four. So metaphysical guilt is a guilt uh, that can stem from uh, not being a victim. Someone is a victim, someone is suffering under the events and I was spared for no good reason, then I can feel guilty. It often happens uh, to uh, people who, for example, survived a terrible accident, who lost a loved one, who died prematurely. These people often think, why was I spared? Why did I live while this person died? And this could lead to the metaphysical guilt when bad things are happening to other people and not to ourselves. That could be the guilt of the majority of uh, uh, American population when they see the oppression uh, of a racial minority 
while themselves are being spared.